important uh, and relevant uh, and pertinent area of uh, data privacy and Sushant's uh, data privacy summit. Thank you, uh, Dr. Pan, for your presence here. That indeed gives us uh, confidence uh, uh, of uh, the leadership presence in terms of uh, actually adopting a holistic approach to privacy, covering everything from uh, privacy, security, and the whole data uh, you know, domain that we are today going to talk about. So ladies and gentlemen, if you look at the, the theme for uh, the uh, session or the, or the conference today, data protection and data privacy is something not uh, not new now to all of us. Uh, the why part of uh, the, the data privacy is being debated for quite some time now. On one side, we see some of the biggest uh, pioneering initiatives that we have taken in India when it comes to digital and uh, use of digital for improvement of uh, people's life. And some of these uh, uh, I can count from my experience uh, across Asia Pacific and Japan that I had. Some of these are on the radar of many countries to learn in terms of the complexity, in terms of the relevance, and in terms of the implementation at that scale, whether it's UPI, ONGC, or uh, JAM. So on one side, we have, we have worked a uh, uh, you know, big way on that. On the other side, the, the geopolitical developments, the changing uh, landscape, the technology development for uh, for data uh, and and third you know the the constant demand from the uh, users in terms of developing trust and also some of the to some extent the emerging technologies like artificial intelligence uh, have actually brought back the focus on the need to have some kind of a uh, regulatory and the legislative uh, you know control on making this more trustful, making this more, uh, you know, uh, usable and, uh, you know, important uh, in terms of the convenience for the user to actually do that. So that leads to multiple issues and some of these uh, would be would be discussed, uh, I'm sure, today. Now, uh, you know, and also we have seen uh, the different approaches to data being taken as uh, a source of competitive strength. We have seen the approach of data for innovation. We have seen the approaches for data for regulation and India's uh, approach for uh, data for development that we have announced as a part of uh, G20. So, so distinctly varied spectrum of uh, approaches to data and data management uh, also are being seen. And so, so I think uh, what we have reached a stage here in this uh, uh, country is that uh, we are at a very interesting stage wherein we are, we are eagerly waiting for the legislation, the law to come out. We are eagerly and curiously looking at the technology developments happening in India and uh, elsewhere for the purpose of adop adoption. Whether it's the normal digital technology or the privacy enhancing technologies, we are seeing that uh, uh, development uh, landscape moving very, very fast. And so different, uh, and if you, if you talk about uh, the, the new models of uh, uh, you know the, the secure sovereign uh, data exchanges, something like the Gaia X and Katina X that we see in Europe, wherein companies are now experimenting peer-to-peer -peer data exchange models. To that exchange uh, extent, there are referenceable technology development models that are evolving, and we are there to use. On a geopolitical front, very interesting. Uh, you know, developments happening at the bilateral level. Uh, countries actually, many of the countries, at least a uh, few in Asia, are actually looking at the bilateral digital trade agreements as a means to push the importance of data, as a means to push the, the data privacy, the cross-border data flows, and to some extent, uh, the, the need for what's in it for me actually is getting established. Lately, you know, one very important area that uh, that uh, all of us are now grappling with is this very fast development and in the domain of artificial intelligence and the corresponding linkage to the uh, data privacy. Now, AI uh, or IDD should uh, help us uh, do the the analysis and uh, maybe uh, look at reports of breaching and all. In the, at the same time, the the importance of uh, managing data privacy within the 
domain of AI is something uh, uh, that, that we are talking about every day today. So some of these areas, uh, while the what part is uh, getting clear that yes, I need to address that, the how part still, uh, you know, is evolving as we speak. And, and to that extent, this, uh, uh, the coverage of today's uh, deliberations would actually provide a very useful insight uh, into uh, what, what probably will be the way forward, what can be the linkage, what would be the governance models, and I think uh, one important area before I close, uh, I want to highlight is the the importance of data privacy and data protection, or digital data protection, as we have started, uh, given the name in India, as has an important horizontal across domains. Now, what, when I say that, what does it mean? From an industry perspective, you know, if you have one horizontal form the digital data protection and, and then many verticals uh, which come out with separate requirements of compliance and there is a lack of uh, integration, it lacks to it, it adds to the cost of compliance, it adds to the complexity of compliance and that so, so I think uh, as we move forward in terms of one very important uh, if I can say the, the uh, on the wish list from the industry perspective would be that let's have a horizontal which provides a platform wherein sectoral regulations as and when these are emerging and there is a need for privacy actually drive a linkage to the law in terms of governance that adds to the uh, compliance and that adds to the uh, you know the ease of uh, managing that so obviously on the law part uh, we all of us and on the on the areas of debate that we have already, already spoken about data controllers, data processors, uh, the, the, the importance of uh, you know, the breach notifications, the implementation times, I think that's a separate discussion that uh, has happened uh, multiple times and we are now waiting for the final version. So I think we are, we are in for some very exciting and some very informative content uh, coming uh, for all of us uh, and I'm sure all of us in the room will be able to take away something that, that impacts uh, me as an individual, something that impacts me as a business, and something uh, that impacts all of us as a community in terms of uh, how part of, how do we take it from. I look forward to the deliberations during the day. Welcome you once again, and I welcome Dr. Dr. Rajesh once again, and thank you very much. For